Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Sonali. Welcome to a new vlog. I'm kind of like getting off this like random cold. I feel like it was like allergies because it only lasted like a day or two, but my voice isn't all the way back yet. And I'm finally getting my energy back, which is amazing because I hate getting sick, especially during the weekdays. Well, I hate getting sick on the weekends too, but I was so excited to like be back home and like get motivated again I was starting to work out again and then of course this hits me and then of course my period's coming this week and I'm just like it's all hitting me at the same time and it's just not fun it is Tuesday I kind of gave myself a little sick day yesterday um but we are going to a new coffee shop with a photographer friend I'm taking her out to coffee because she always gives me so many referrals and it just makes me so freaking happy I think she started photography like around two to three years ago but she looks like she's been doing it for so freaking long Long. I'll have her photography Instagram here. She does mostly weddings, but she also does grads and her photos are insanely good. We're going to a coffee shop near Riverside that was just being built once I left Riverside. That's where we used to live, so I would always drive past it. So I'm pumped. I'm finally checking it out. I'm going to go take Sophie out and I also still have not bought anything for these shelves except for that little book thing. Um, so that is definitely on my to-do list for this week, even though I said it was on my to-do list in the last vlog, but we'll get it done this week, I swear. I'm here with Lee. Hello. And she is an awesome photographer. She does mainly weddings, right? Yeah. She also does seniors, and yeah. that's kind of how we connected. Um, and we're at this really freaking cute coffee shop. It's the best. We have been planning to meet up since For so long. I, our last message was it was cold and rainy. And yes. I was like, that, it's just so weird to think that Austin could be cold and rainy. Like that feels like so long ago. Yeah, so we've been saving this place and it's really cute. They have like really nice like textures and everything. I kind of want a little pick after. Yes. Um, but yeah, we're just enjoying talking all about photography. It's 2 p.m. and it is time to shoot some content. I have my photographer, the best photographer ever. He's gonna help me out. We just have three outfits to shoot. I'm working with DSW and they sent me the coolest freaking sneakers. These are New Balances. And then I have some white platform vans on and then these were an option to choose from, which was perfect because Ryan was telling me to buy these. And he's teaching me how to style them because it's definitely not my style, but they're really cool to just play around with. Um, so I got this shirt from H&M, I believe, um, a while back. I just have a mini skirt on and then my cute little white platform vans on. And I'm thinking we're gonna just shoot around East Austin. I'm still not feeling like 100%, so I don't wanna like exhaust myself, but I do need to get this done like ASAP because I think they're due tomorrow. I definitely need to reply to emails. I was planning on doing that at the coffee shop, but we were literally talking for nonstop, like two hours straight. So the emails did not get done, but still needs to happen sometime today. I also have a vlog that's kind of all the way edited that I haven't posted yet. It's like before our beach trip, but I didn't vlog on our beach trip. So it's like prepping for the beach trip. And I feel like I don't really want to post it, but people are asking where my vlogs are, which means so much to me. So I might just post it because it is a good vlog. I just feel bad that I didn't vlog the beach trip and I said I was going to in that vlog. Um, but I also need to edit another vlog because I did like a Sunday reset routine and I need to edit that. So got a lot of content to create and edit and we're gonna get it done. We're done. Literally shot that in like what, 30 minutes? 30 minutes? A little over 30 minutes. I'm so mad at myself for putting this to the last minute because it's not fun taking photos when you're fucking dead inside. <laughs> It's Wednesday and we're about to head to the domain because I have another coffee date and I'm meeting a new friend Her name's Alexis. She also does YouTube here in Austin and we are going to Houndstooth, I believe Then I want to go shopping because I have a friend's birthday on Friday and I feel like whenever I go out I get in this panic mode where I don't have anything to wear and yes, my closet is full Maybe I'm just not feeling that great about my body. So I just want to find something that like fits me or like actually looks flattering on my body so we can prevent that meltdown that always freaking happens. So I'm not sure exactly where we're gonna go. Probably like start at H&M, maybe Zara. 
I can't remember what else is around there. Maybe Aritzia, but I don't really want to spend that much money. Um, but we'll see. And I kind of want to go into Sephora because I want to get a new blush. I've been using the Dibs Beauty Stick, which I love. But I also want to go to the Mace. No, do they have a Macy's there? I also want to check out like Mac's blushes because I feel like people sleep on Mac and I used to love Mac and I still use their lip liner, but their foundation was one of my favorites growing up. It definitely smelled like a little strange because it was like very like paint scented. So that kind of freaked me out, but I want to check out their blushes too. So I'm not sure what department store is over there that has a Mac in it. Maybe Nordstrom or is it only in Macy's? I'm not really sure, but we went for a little slicked back ponytail. I was going to do a bun, but I feel like the buns always just get messed up. And then I have this little tank top from Shop Boom. Um, my shorts are from Top Shop. They're like the A-line shorts. And this white linen top is actually from Amazon. And I have tried like a good bit of them trying to find the best one because I have one from Princess Polly and people always ask me where it's from. And I try to look it up and I can't find it on Princess Polly. So I think they took it down. But this one is just from Amazon, super affordable. And let me show you guys in the mirror. I believe the sizing is just one size only, which kind of sucks, but it is pretty large and honestly perfect size. I'm a size 10 usually, so I usually size maybe up to an extra large if it's something that's oversized fitting like this. So this is what it looks like. I love wearing like a white button down on honestly any outfit during the summer. It's almost like having your little sweatshirt in the winter, but you just kind of like sub it out and it just adds so much to the outfit I feel like and it gives like a cool girl look. Um, so I probably will take it off when we go shopping at the domain, but in the coffee shops, I always get a little bit cold, so. Here with Alexis, I got a chai latte. What'd you get? I got the herbal blackberry tea. Yum. It's so funny when you get like a chai latte, they just bring out the like mixed chai and oat milk. And I'm like, I, I kind of made this at home, I but like, know. it's good, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Such a cute place here. Pounds too. We're back home and I'm making some euros. Got some red onions right here, tomatoes, and then we actually just got a Costco membership. I'm not sure if I told you guys yet, but we got these euro slices there, so I'm just making some of that, just heating that up because it's fully cooked. And then I got pita bread. So we're doing pita and rice. And I forgot, I have tzatziki sauce that I also bought from Costco. Um, but we went to the domain, went shopping a little bit, and I went to Zara and H&M, and I think that's the only, oh, and Nordstrom. But I only found like new bottoms. I didn't find any tops. So when I was in the Zara line, because it was so long, I ended up buying some stuff off of Revolve. I just wanted some like nice going out tops. So I'm gonna see how they fit. I think that Revolve has free returns, so hopefully they do, so that I could like try them on and like decide whether I wanna keep them or not. But I wasn't like in love with them. I just really needed like a top to go with either the jeans I bought or the shorts I bought. So I bought jeans from Zara, shorts from H&M, and yeah, really wanted to find a top or just like a dress to wear, but Unfortunately, we did not find that. Once this meat is cooked and we eat, I have to get on a call with Anna to go over what her tasks are this week. Um, even though, wait, is it Wednesday or Tuesday? We usually have our calls on Monday, but it's been a crazy week, so we're having it today. It's a lot later, it's 7 p.m., but I just finished filming some stuff, and honestly, like, creating content is so fulfilling in its own weird way, and I have not really been feeling super fulfilled lately because I've been, like, slacking on YouTube. You guys have probably noticed, and I'm sorry about that, but I've also been traveling, and it's just, like, hard because I feel like I'm taking advantage of this self-employed schedule and not working all the time, which I feel like I do feel like a shitty content creator because there's always something more I could be doing 
like trust me even if I'm productive or even if I'm creating a lot of content there's always more that you can be doing which is also like a hard pill to swallow but I know that I feel so fulfilled when I am making YouTube videos and like connecting with you guys but something in me right now like I, I, I don't even want to say I'm like going through a rut I think it's just the fact that my schedule has just been so thrown off that I need to like actually stick to a strict like posting schedule or like filming schedule and like office hours almost like a real freaking job because like today like I went shopping early in the morning and that is such a privilege that I have. I was able to go during the non-busy hours even though Zara's lines were still freaking long but I just feel like I can't really take advantage of that because then I don't do like enough you know what I mean I don't even know if that really makes sense but basically what I'm saying is I really do want to get back into posting like literally when I landed from Mexico I was like okay this is this is it I'm getting back into everything that I you know lost like I'm getting back into YouTube I'm getting back into like the health and wellness stuff I'm getting back into working on and I did it for a couple days and then I just like felt really gross like I don't even know if this is allergies or what but it needs to go. And I'm feeling like a whole lot better right now. So I'm hoping that tomorrow I'll have my full voice back because I still have like that frog in my throat that I literally cannot get out. I've been trying to take like all these kinds of medicines. I'm like, what is going to fix this? I think it's just like sinus stuff. I don't know. Anyways, all I'm saying is that I really do want to do more and... Like, it just makes me so happy and fulfilled when I am doing it. So, like, why am I not? You know what I mean? I literally never look back and say, like, oh, dang, like, I wish I kept my corporate job. Hopefully, I never will. And I'm so freaking lucky that I could do this full time. And I do photography on the side, too, if you guys didn't know. So, this isn't all my income. But I am able to work for myself. But it is hard coming up with your own schedule and, like, really keeping yourself accountable is pretty much... I guess the biggest thing so I'm gonna work on it because this is really my first year of being self-employed so I still have like a lot to learn um, and it's only been what six months now so we're taking it a day at a time in my last vlog I did like my nighttime skincare routine my current skincare routine but I just got this in the mail and I was talking about it in that vlog so this is the Charlotte's magic cream it's from Charlotte Tilbury instant turnaround moisturizer this is pricey I'm not even gonna lie I think it was like a hundred dollars I got it on Amazon and I definitely thought there was gonna be more product because like this itself is pretty large but as you can see there's like this clear part around it so the actual compartment where the cream lies is like not that big, especially for being $100. But I'm gonna wash my makeup off and then we're gonna try it out together. Usually for skincare products, it, you can't really tell like the first time you use it, but I will give you like my first impressions on it. Makeup is off, skin is looking a little bit discolored. Love that. Whenever I first open a cream and there's this thing still on it, I just take the cap and use whatever's on it. It looks weird, but can't be wasting product around here, especially one that's this expensive. It smells like, mm, like a, a cream that your mom would use, you know, like back in the 90s. Okay, this is weird that it's like not blending out very easily. I didn't think that I would do that. What? Like, is this sunscreen? That's really weird. I feel like a lot of people use this right under makeup. Okay, there we go. Okay, so it doesn't feel like anything insanely different. Honestly, I kind of like my Glow Recipe moisturizer, like the feeling of it a little bit better. So maybe we'll just put a little bit more on. My skin is definitely on the drier side. And so this is really supposed to be like a restoring kind of cream. It says it's magic, so we'll see what it does. I think Ryan and I are gonna watch How to Be Single. I've been wanting to watch this movie for so long. I feel like everyone talks about it on social media. You do have to like buy it. 
So I think we're gonna just like rent it on like YouTube because my credit card information's all hooked up on there. One day I will learn how to cook Indian food, but today it's Trader Joe's frozen Indian meal. It did come with rice, but I heated up some of these because I like these better. It's Thursday, I worked out this morning, got ready, washed my hair, and since... <laughs> That's rude. I like the way you crimped it in the back of your hair. <laughs> I'm gonna kill you, did it? Does it, does it not get it? <laughs> oh great, whatever. I just like kind of used my Dyson to like blow it straight, but I have been really inspired lately by the one, the only Kim Kardashian to straighten my hair. He's waiting till I dye it fully black. What do you guys think? Should I go all the way dark or keep the dimension? Anyways, we are gonna get some matcha and coffee. Ryan's feeling a little sleepy, so we're gonna go to Fletch Coffee. Apparently they close at two, it's literally 1 p.m. And then we're gonna go to HEB because I gotta get some stuff. I'm baking my friend a cake for her birthday on Friday and I'm really excited. I was just telling Ryan, I feel like it's like a different creative outlet and I don't, usually bake, but I feel like it's fun, but I'm also really, really nervous because I'm not very good with directions. So I'm gonna be going very slow and trying not to like miss any steps and just like try not to fuck it up. Yesterday, I finally bought some ceremonial grade matcha on Amazon. It's coming tomorrow. I bought the whole like situation. I got a little matcha bowl to whisk it. I bought the whisk and a little spoon. So I'm super freaking excited about that because I just want to like start making it at home. I feel like I could have 100% made this. And um, yesterday, where were we at the domain yesterday? Yeah. Mm -hmm. In House Tooth Coffee, I already told the vlog, but they had like the chai concentrate that you literally get at the grocery store and then oat milk and that was it. They're like here and they did it in front of me i was like okay honestly like just like do it away from me so i feel like a little bit special like or like you know not it's guilty i you sitting there and getting it made for you yeah i guess but i'm just like goodness i could have 100 percent done that so literally on my grocery list is to get oat milk and to find that chai tea concentrate although i don't think this hb has it because i remember trying to look one day but maybe it's different today um what are you getting here Milk. Oh. <laughs> I need to get like frosting ingredients and then my spring rolls and then I think we might make chicken kebabs today. It would be fun to like grill them maybe. Well for you to grill them. That's what I'm trying to say. What? I'm really excited for this weekend though because it's 4th of July weekend and we have a lot of fun things planned in my friend group so like on Friday it's my friend's birthday. And then on Saturday we're having a chill day, and then Sunday I think we're gonna do like a pool day and grill out. Why are you saying we're tubing Saturday? Yeah, I don't know if we're tubing anymore. Why? I don't know, I think they just wanna chill, which I'm totally fine with. Because tubing is a lot of effort. Meaning like going to San Marcos and like tubing on the river. I know That's I said Saturday. it right. Wow. You know I usually say San Marcos. But can you always yell at me. H E B Hall, one of my favorites. Go to quick meal, spring rolls from HEB. Then we have a bag of sugar because we're running low. We got Sophie some presents. Sophie some treats. Sophie, you want a treat? Yeah. And we also got her little one. She's been getting really hungry around like two, three, four, and it's way too early to cook her dinner. So I wanted to get her like bones that would maybe, you know, fill her up. High five. Good girl. Here you go. You like it? Okay, bye. When we went to Mexico, they had mangoes at breakfast and they were so good. So now I'm obsessed with mangoes. We got some really squishy ones and we also got peaches because I haven't had a peach in a while and they smelled so good. I could smell them from a mile away. And look at this one. It literally has like the cute little green leaves. Reminds me of home, you know, Georgia peaches. <laughs> Got some chopped cilantro. I was trying to look for a cilantro plant because in my last vlog, my little Sunday like vlog, I planted a mint and a basil plant and I was thinking of what to fill the third pot with. I was gonna do like flowers or rosemary, but I'm always needing cilantro and I feel like I never have it. I looked it up, Randall said they had it, went to Randall's, they didn't have it, so I'm not really sure where to find one, but 
I'm gonna keep looking. And then I got some Greek yogurt because we're gonna make some kebabs, chicken kebabs. Where's that bag? We stocked up on all of our milks, lactate milk. We have oat milk. And then we have Ryan's like regular, regular milk, whatever that kind of milk is. We did find the chai tea concentrate, so very excited about that. I got some sprinkles in case I wanted to decorate the cake with these. And then these little cool, what are they called? A tip set for the icing piping bags. And then I just got some food coloring in case I wanted to do like a pink icing. I'm like really nervous about this cake, but also just really ready for a challenge. I feel like it sounds very stupid, but I'm very like excited to try to bake a cake just because I haven't done something like this in a while. And I kind of want to see if I can just do it, you know? Going into HB, we were thinking about doing chicken kebabs for dinner. And look what I found for 50% off. I was like, how perfect was that? I mean, I don't, I'm not really sure why it's 50% off, but it's okay. We're going to eat it today. I'm gonna get a head start on cooking dinner. I'm gonna do the marinade for the chicken. I just like looked up a random um, recipe and the one I'm looking at is from Once Upon a Chef. So right now I'm just gonna mix all of the seasonings together. So it calls for two teaspoons of paprika. So doing that. It says half a teaspoon of cumin powder, one eighth teaspoon of cinnamon. I'm just gonna hope that's the correct amount. Um, one teaspoon of crushed red pepper. It says half a teaspoon of ground pepper. I again. <laughs> and then we have some salt. The worst part about cooking and the most time consuming part is the prep. So if I see things that can make my life a little bit easier, I will 100% buy them. So this is just the squeeze garlic. It says that it wants me to put in five garlic cloves minced. So I'm just gonna eye it. <laughs> Two tablespoons of olive oil, then one cup of Greek yogurt. And this was perfect because I feel like I always buy those big tubs of yogurt. And it was honestly more expensive than I ever thought. Like it was $7. So I was like looking around for other options and I saw this and I was like, that is literally perfect because all I really need the yogurt for is this chicken marinade. So I'm just gonna put this in there. Now it's time to mix it all up. I went ahead and chopped up the chicken and the marinade is all mixed up. It smells really freaking good. I'm already so excited for dinner. And I'm just gonna pour it all over the chicken. And hopefully it's enough because the recipe did call for three pounds of chicken and this is like right under. This is the cake that I chose to bake. It is super moist party rainbow chip. And it smells so good. Ooh, there's pudding in the mix. Yum. Well, it looks good. It smells good. I'm super excited. And I get to use my Caraway Bakeware. I used like the cookie sheet, but I haven't used like the actual cake tins or the bread loaf pans. I have two in the bakeware set, so that's gonna be perfect because I really wanna do like the stacking cake. And I'm just so nervous about the icing and the decorating part, but I'm gonna just put out good vibes and hopefully it'll go well. And also, I got a new Caraway set because they sent me the new color and I couldn't say no because, like, look at this. It has a gold handle and it's white. So the one I had before was gray. And this is their new Iconics collection. It comes in black and white and then gold handles. And I think it is so stunning. I literally couldn't say no. Um, but like the pants that I was using were totally fine and perfect condition. Something about like a good aesthetic kitchen find just makes me so happy and like makes me want to cook more at home. I do have a 10% off discount code for Caraway and that's like discount on top of the already discounted bundle. So... I think you have to go through my link though, so I'll put it in the description box. I went ahead and cut out parchment paper for the bottom of the cake pans. I've seen people do that. I don't really know exactly what it does. 
because I was just gonna spray it, but I did the parchment paper this time because we're pros around here. My first job in high school was actually at a pie shop, so I was literally a baker, and just not cakes, so just pies, which are honestly so much easier because the dough was already made by our owner, and then all we had to do was like kind of just mix the inside of the pie, so it was not that hard but so fun. I think about that job often and it definitely shaped me. I feel like any job does, honestly, but that was such a fun job, especially to have like in high school. It is time to pour. I'm pretty sure both of these are nine inch pans and the cake mix box said just one box was good enough for two nine inch pans, which was perfect. desk because today I really wanted to just declutter not really declutter because I know I'm such a hoarder and it's so hard for me to throw shit out like I don't know why but it is <laughs> and so I'm just gonna try to organize because in my um Sunday vlog I showed you guys oops that I got these little organizers on Amazon I had so many extras so I was like I'm just gonna go ahead and do like all the cluttered drawers starting with my desk it is so heinous right now it almost like doesn't even open it doesn't even close sometimes because there's so much fucking shit in here so today we're gonna organize it while i'm organizing i'm actually watching rachel ratke's vlog she does have a new last name but i don't want to butcher it but she got the air one sweat set i've been literally eyeing it for at least a month now <laughs> and it's so expensive but the cutest freaking sweat set because it comes in this really pale light blue color and i live in my aloe set so i know i would make good use out of it but i don't know i can't bring myself to do it but i was also thinking the other day i don't know if you guys remember my furry birkenstocks it took me a while to actually like press purchase and get the shoes because I was like, okay, this is kind of a lot for shoes. I don't know if I'll actually wear it so often. I think I was just thinking like it's always hot here. So maybe my feet would get really hot with the furry stuff all over them. But those are like my most worn shoes, maybe like besides my new balances, but they're so comfortable. I just like slide my feet in super easy. I feel like they make any outfit look cool. So I feel like if I really, Think about something for like a while and I'm just like oh, I still kind of want it like I should just you know go ahead and do it even though I swear that sweat set is like stupid expensive but it's like air one merch and it's kind of like cool not that I even live in LA I don't know I'm just like making excuses now but anyways if I have that sweat set you know I've treated myself for something. Me and my assistant put together some goals to hit before July 4th. I think we started them May, June, maybe like beginning of June, if I'm not mistaken, but I've already hit like three of the goals and I was kind of like being bold with my number goals. They're like all of my followers, so just like number count. And I feel like having those goals really has motivated me to like put out more content except on my YouTube channel but everything else I feel like I was like doing really well with like posting a lot and just creating content so maybe I'll do another one of those and if I hit like all of them I'll treat myself with the sweat set I'm finding all of these little things that I just like throw in my drawer like my ACL VIP band I don't think I can go to ACL and not get VIP next year. I went with a brand last year and it was just so nice because free drinks and then like you get to chill in like an area where there's fans and under the shade and then there's free water. It honestly might be worth it even though it's super expensive, but I don't even know if I like really, really want to go this year. I'm not super into music, but it's such a fun experience. So we'll see. We'll see. And then I have this for my... 25th birthday party it says sonali's golden 25th and i've been telling myself that i want to make a scrapbook or at least a photo album especially of all our travels like i really want to start it right after we went to italy but i never did so i need to put that on my to-do list because i would love to just like have printed photos and then i have this cool thing that i got at a create and cultivate event also i stood in line for so long like probably like more than two hours to get this done 
So I kind of want to frame this or do something cool with that. And then as you can imagine, I have so many random cords that are most likely all the same, like USB-C, micro, USB. They're just like all the same shit. So I need to like go through those. So let's do it. Let's get organized and declutter my life. frosting for the cake so now what I want to do is just put the cake together and do the crumb coat hopefully I have enough icing though because I thought this recipe was gonna make me a lot more than it did let's start with okay we'll start with this layer and I think I'm just gonna put it on top of the cake pan so that I can like spin it while I ice it because I don't really have one of those what are they called like the spinning table things got my icing I'm nervous. A long time ago, I bought this tool and I don't know why I bought it. I think I was using it for like spreading out cinnamon roll icing, but now I can finally use it for what it's for. Actually icing a cake. This is so fun. <laughs> I actually have a good feeling about this cake. Sometimes when I cook and bake, it doesn't always turn out very well, but I feel like this is going to be a good one. so freaking good i am very excited it has to cool and then i think tomorrow i'm gonna do like all of the icing and that's kind of what i was most afraid of but so far so good i think it is like leaning a certain way though i think ryan's home from golf so we're gonna have to grill these kebabs on the grills downstairs there you go sir Thank you. Mm -hmm. You can see it? Yeah. Got any clip anymore? Wow. They look good. I'm not mm -hmm. convinced that they're ready. Can you tell them? What do you think? I don't think I'm hungry. Here's the final product. They look so good.
It's Friday and I spent pretty much the whole morning decorating the cake that you guys just saw. I'm so proud of myself. I don't think I fucked it up. Honestly, it's hard because you can't really taste the cake unless you cut into it and I'm not gonna cut into someone else's birthday cake. That would be weird. So I guess we're gonna find out how good it tastes later tonight. And yeah, kind of nervous about that. But I mean like, I feel like it's gonna be good, like icing and cake, you can't really fuck it up too bad. I did have low expectations for like the decorating part, so I feel like I definitely outdid myself. Um, and I'm so excited to see her reaction, I'll try to like film it for you guys. As you guys know, I was trying to shop before this day came, I ordered some stuff off of Revolve and they came at like 8.22 a.m. And I guess like the doors weren't open to the mail room so they couldn't drop it off. So the delivery date changed to Tuesday. <sighs> There was an option to like hold it at one of the FedEx offices. So I did that and it said it would like text me or email me once it's there and ready to be picked up. But I'm not sure what time that will be. And I feel like I'll just like try to find something in my closet. But it sucks because I literally bought those body suits for this and just like wanted to try them on for this occasion and just like going out. I do want to go ahead and cut my Zara jeans that I got this week because they were... A tad bit too long even if I wore heels they would kind of be dragging and I just want to cut them like a little bit I love long jeans I love the look of them it's so cute but these just need a little bit off so let's do it I literally cue the tears because I was like sliding them on and they just like weren't fitting and I was like how how literally how I literally got them like two days ago I freaking bought the wrong size I tried on two sizes the larger size fit me perfectly and I accidentally gave the larger size back to the fitting room assistant and so I freaking bought the wrong size. I'm so fucking mad. Holy shit. <laughs> like I'm trying to like prevent these meltdowns but I guess the universe just wants them to happen. I don't, I don't know what the situation is. So all right back to the drawing board. <laughs> now I have to find some bottoms too for tonight. Oh, I'm so mad and I'm supposed to help my friend like go set up So I have to be there like way earlier than everyone else and bring the cake over and everything Oh my god, I'm literally so mad at myself. All right, so I put this outfit together. What do we think? This top is from Princess Polly These shorts are from Abercrombie and Fitch. I feel like I don't feel like horrible like bloating wise in this outfit, but I think like, this button and like all these just like look a little weird I'm not sure. Maybe I'm just like overthinking it because I feel like with shoes it'll be fine, but also it's gonna be so hot. Even though this is like a breathable top, but I'm not sure if I like one do long sleeve, but that green shirt from Amazon is like my only other option. And it's also long sleeve, so I think this could be cute. But I'll keep you guys updated. I really wish I was one of those girls where the room was clean at all times, but unfortunately it somehow is always a mess. Anyways, I just curl my hair. I feel like I've been wearing my hair straight for the longest time. I think I said it in this vlog, but I'm very inspired by Kim's hair. And we just finished the Kardashians last night. I'm very sad about it. I need more. It's truly an iconic show. Kim is iconic. The Kardashians are iconic. I'm sorry if you disagree, but like, I cannot be persuaded otherwise. These curls are very, very curly, and I wanted to show you guys the best thing that you could do when this happens. Literally just flip your head upside down like three times. <laughs> And it gives you so much ball. Oh, what was that? That was literally my earring. <laughs> my earring just blew off, but it just gives you so much volume. Okay. And it like just loosens the curls a little bit. Well, they're gonna fall too. And another thing I like to do is just like tie my hair in a big scrunchie so it can just kind of like relax a little bit. In the car transporting the cake i like put something heavy in front of it and then some cans underneath it this is the only time that the lacroix cans in your car are useful i literally have like an heb bag ready to be thrown out because we just drink so many lacroix but i'm gonna go over to kiana's and i'm so excited for her to see the cake you'll you'll be impressed <laughs> wait walter's <laughs> literally trying to eat it <laughs> Gosh, isn't it cute? Perfect. Isn't it cute? Even like the writing. No, the better. writing could have been better, but it's fine. <laughs> no, the writing is so good. Thanks. You did that? Yeah. Oh my gosh. I know. I Jackson, was... you <laughs> so much. 
I know. Uh, Walter is Walter, trying to Walter, 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 oh, Walter, Walter, Walter. protect the cake at all costs. <laughs> oh my god, Isn't that's it so amazing? cool. Is this like my blog? Yes. Well, it's my 26th birthday. Yay. And Sonali and Mackenzie are just the most amazing people ever. <laughs> and help decorate my house. Yes. So I'm turning 26. The theme is disco. Disco. We Where'd you get that disco ball? On Amazon. Was it expensive? $46 for It's not bad. Because it's, it's, it's cool. And it's like actually like a good, one. good quality. Like, yeah, I feel like you should keep it there. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> I know, isn't it fun? Yeah. And uh, yeah. That's Yay. Pretty much the thing. Love it. I left Kiana's house and I was calling FedEx to see if I could like pick up my package and I originally told him to like drop it off at the airport um, FedEx but not the like airport boulevard I guess <laughs> um, but they said that it was actually at a different center so it wasn't too far away so I ended up getting my bodysuits from Revolve so excited to try them on when I get home. Trying on all of my Revolve tanks and bodysuits I got. This is the first one. This is like the one I was really interested in. I don't know how that goes. I'm guessing that way. I mean, it low-key looks like I'm nude, but like I love the detail on this. And at first, like my, oh, oh I did not realize my <laughs> zipper was unzipped. When I picked the tank tops up, I was like, what the frick? How is this so much money? Cause like, I think this was like probably $60. These were all around $60. So I'm like, okay, why is this, you know, this expensive? Because it just, like, feels like any other piece of clothing I would buy, like, from Amazon, to be honest. But the details in this, I can see. I can see why it's this much. The other ones are definitely less detailed. So, yeah, I don't know about those. <laughs> but I think this would be really cute with jeans and heels. I don't know for, like, tonight. But let's try on the other stuff and see what we can do. All right, this is the next one. Honestly, it's not that bad either. But again, when I picked it up, I was like, what? Like, it's like a little piece of fabric because it's all crop tops. These are just a little bit more unique than the average going out top, which is totally fine to be classic. But I was just kind of getting bored and I feel like I needed some different options to choose from when going out, even though I don't go out that often. But since I don't go out that often, I want to like dress up more, you know? like. So, what do we think? Maybe not with the black shorts. I really love like a crop top and jeans, but I don't know if it's gonna be too hot. Next up is this green top, and honestly, I think this is worse than Shein quality because the liner in this is just a little fabric. Like what? It like feels like everything's exposed. So yeah, this needs to go back ASAP. And then I got this. One, I'm not going to try it on because I do want to be a little more colorful today, at least. But it's one of those bodysuits that cut across and this goes like over here. So, very cute. And I'll go ahead and link them down below if you guys are interested. I pretty much just put the filter for like the price, 60 and lower, and not bad, not bad. I love the brown one, the first one, so I might go with that, but I feel like the pink is more fun. And her theme's kind of like disco-y, so I feel like I should go with pink. But I need to iron it, so I'm gonna go do that. Found some random jeans from Princess Polly. They're tight like up here, but they're kind of like have a weird crotch situation. But they're like bell bottoms, and with my shoes they kind of look disco-y. So I'm wearing these like Sam Edelman shoes. I literally got it out of Plato's closet or something in college, like a long time ago, but I love these shoes so much. I don't know why I'm not surprised. I've been running around and now it's time to go to Kiana's. I'm gonna call the Uber soon. I'll probably film the rest of the vlog on my iPhone. Happy birthday! Look how cute! I'm gonna finish this, and we're gonna do a shot, and she's gonna do a shot. I am drunk, but... Wait, let's do a five second shot. Three, two, one, go! Look at it! It's just... Wait, there's like... It's 
<laughs> Nolly is such a jokester. I feel good. Except when we said that we were going to be first, and then I was unwell. <laughs> she was like, so I'm not going to be first. How does it feel to be almost 30? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> How does it feel to be in your later 20s? You're no longer a mid 20s. I am mid 20s. I am only late 20s until it's 27.